Greetings everyone, All Classic Gaming here and welcome to a brand new unboxing video. This time we have a rather light package, medium sized, so let's check out what is inside. It's, it's, it shouldn't be too hard to open because uh, it has a convenient uh, way of uh, just uh, taking care of um, the duct tape. I already got it a bit. It's soon going fully opened. And there we go. As we can see, it was very nice protected to ensure the minimum or non damage because you see there is an air there, and now we're gonna do this. Ah, that was satisfying. Now let's check out what is inside. What is inside this? Seems it got more more of these uh, with the duct tapes so we just need to cut it a little bit more and it uh, should be good to go mm -hmm. just uh, to get rid of some some dirt uh, that uh, got uh, on the desk uh, it's nothing nothing big big just a bit of cardboard there we are and oh more duct tapes woohoo there we go well, finally we finally got it, and I think you can all already see what game this is. It's a pretty good condition. The last remnant for PC, Japanese version. Now, I don't know about uh, you guys, but I surely haven't seen a lot of uh, PC Japanese releases like for games for Windows uh, uh, line. It's a pretty unique release, uh, I can say. Uh, I don't know how common it is, but... Uh, and also, this is one of the rare times I see PC game with NTSC J. Now, because usually that's uh, for consoles only. And, and technically speaking, PC game uh, cannot be either PAL or NTSC because... Uh, let's just be real, these uh, terminologies were already obsolete with the HD TV and uh, PCs well not all PCs are H HD like uh, but uh, still they don't have this uh, PAL and then TSC that's only for television so it's it's kind of weird to see but uh, at, at some point from what I can tell is uh, these uh, were used um, like just to determine the region and not um, not anything with television signals like how they are in in uh, Europe, uh, uh, United States, uh, Asia, and whatnot. So yeah, that's how it is. And uh, let's now open it to see what is included here. Okay, we got uh, manual. The manual is uh, Japanese only, unfortunately. There is uh, some some code right here. I, I don't know if it's uh, still valid or not. Uh, I believe this is like uh, for... let's see what it says. Uh, it just says serial code and I believe this is maybe if you want to like register the game if they're... I know this game was on Steam but it, it got delisted and it's it's a pretty how to say weird case because uh, while the game was uh, delisted uh, one could uh, interpret uh, the delisting of the game because they were they're making a, a remaster which uh, which has some improvements and whatnot 
However, despite the fact that um, it got uh, delisted, like the remaster was never released on PC. It was like uh, there was even an Android release and uh, a Nintendo Switch, uh, PS4. It was all digital only as well. Like you, you couldn't get it uh, on on disc uh, or anything. And but yeah, it was just like um, it was uh, it wasn't on PC, so it, it, it's very weird. Like. I can understand if they wanted to delist the, uh, the console version of The Last Remnant, but then again, uh, I believe this game was only on PC and uh, 360, I, I think, yeah, the, PC, the, the PS3 version was planned but cancelled. For some reason, this game was mostly promoted on, on PC, I have uh, uh, no idea why, like, the, like the PC version even had, like, uh, the DLC included, uh, which was... Uh, which was uh, separated uh, on um, on like 360 release and the uh, guess is this the PC version is uh, dual audio you can pretty much um, uh, select the uh, audio voices like between English and Japanese the 360 version cannot do that and on top of that the HD remaster version also can do that so the only version to natively support um, uh, dual audio is uh, a PC version, and uh, this game being uh, delisted uh, digitally, it's uh, very weird. Like, why would it? Like, I was I was con convinced that they were delisting it because they plan to uh, put um, HD remaster on uh, on sale on Steam and stuff and whatnot. But no, they never released it on PC, and uh, I don't know. Was it like did it sell bad on PS4 and Switch? Uh, well, whatever the reasons are, I think it's uh, unacceptable for them to just simply to just simply uh, delist the game for one platform because they're planning a HD remaster on another platform. Uh, it's just so weird. But um, let's take a time to to check out how the discs were designed. And uh, damn, it really looks very high quality. Like how how the disc uh, is. Um, handled and uh, just looking at it and seeing it it is like a, it's like a, like a console work uh, it, these these sort of PC games like with the games for Windows this stylized like you can definitely tell this was made by Japanese it's only unusual to see it on PC and uh, looking about uh, looking at this uh, this whole brand games for Windows uh, I kind of miss it in a way. Uh, yes, the launcher was uh, pretty bad, and uh, I'm glad that uh, most of the games just uh, used it uh, like like a tag up there, and they didn't depend on uh, launcher because Microsoft really fucked that up. And uh, I, I can see what they were trying to do with that, like to make it similar to 360, but but it just failed in the end. And uh, even to this day. Microsoft didn't uh, fully integrate uh, the feel of uh, Xbox on Windows 10. They, they just keep failing with this aspect. But but yeah, seeing these discs like like that, it's it, it, it's really great and uh, kind of makes you wish that um, that more games got released like like this. Uh, however, one thing I, I kind of am disappointed is that both of these discs are just uh, in the inside this cardboard. Uh, because what I was uh, hoping for is when when I open this that um, they're just gonna have a DVD case or something with inside. Like uh, I just think this is unnecessary. The how it was uh, how everything was bundled, and especially I'm not fond of this cardboard thing because uh, yeah, I, I don't like cardboard. I even when I. When I open, when I buy some stuff, when there is some unnecessary cardboard, I always, uh, I always throw that away. Uh, but uh, I obviously can't do it in this case because uh, the cardboard is uh, truly meant to hold um, the games uh, together. But it's, uh, it's such a pain to uh, put put it back once you take it out, and I definitely think that. Uh, that is, is all unnecessary. Then again, uh, I believe since the game is uh, like uh, only locked on Steam, you don't need uh, uh, actual disc to 
to play this. You just redeem the code that you saw uh, earlier, and uh, and you just play it on Steam. You don't need a disc. I, I think this is the case, like, the disc is just if you want a faster installation, because I remember this was the case with a Skyrim, pretty much. Uh, you, I remember when I got that game uh, on uh, PC, it was also like this, uh, games for Windows on top. But it came with the key, and the key was uh, redeemable on Steam. And then I pretty much just had to ask if I want to, if I want to install it from disc, or I could just download from Steam servers. Like the discs were just there for faster installation and uh, whatnot. But yeah, I, I, I guess I suppose this is the same case with the, the Last Remnant. Uh, I think it's uh, unfortunate that the PC version is uh, not. Uh, like uh, HD remaster, we never received an upgrade. Like uh, some games, even got the like uh, Neighbors from Hell is a good example when uh, the owners of the regular version just got HD remaster absolutely for free on Steam. But this is something that Square Enix would never do. Like uh, they're too greedy for that. And uh, and yeah, this is so. This is the only version if you want to play dual audio without any sort of modding and whatnot and just out of the box and it's this is also if you want to play it on PC a 360 version not recommended at this point so just go either with the PC one or if you if you don't mind English voices and just want to play HD remaster version which is overall better version you can just get it on switch on PS4 but but yeah, for especially for collection purpose, this PC release is very unique, and it's also Japanese. The first one I ever saw that it has NTSCJ written down there. So yeah, pretty unique. I like it overall. So hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I sure did, and see you all very soon.